will do what we have to do to go after Hamas, to avoid civilian casualties, something that we have successfully done. Out of that Hamas number that you just gave, more than 14,000 are terrorists that we took out. There's more than 25,000 Hamas and Islamic Jihad terrorists how taken many, off So the how back. many civilians do you believe you've killed? We, we don't have exact figures, as you know, it's the fog of war. But you've got exact numbers for Hamas terrorists you've killed. Why wouldn't you know how many civilians you've killed? Be because obviously our focus is to go after the Hamas terrorists and... Uh, no, we hang on, do I mean, that does imply that you, you're putting a bigger premium on killing Hamas terrorists in terms of numbers and accountability than you are on innocent civilians. That can't be right, surely. If you know exactly how many Hamas terrorists you've killed, you must know how many civilians you've killed. Otherwise, you're prioritising the lives of terrorists over innocent people. Piers, with respect, don't put words into my mouth, please. I didn't say exactly 14,000. I said around 14,000. Whereas Hamas will come out with precise uh, numbers that statisticians well, give me will a look at. ballpark number for civilians. Well, well, of course, you can you can use the ballpark uh, as far as uh, the Hamas figures, which I reject as being false. Well, if they're so, false, why would uh, you give me those? I had I gave you the, the numbers that I had. No, you've told me you I've, know you know how many Hamas terrorists you've killed, but you don't seem to have any idea how many civilians you've killed. I'm just bemused. Why wouldn't you keep count of both? I, I don't have that information to give you, uh, Piers. If I did, I well, would. You've literally no I idea how many civilians you've been killing. I can tell you definitively that our aim is to go after Hamas. No, We've hang done on. it I, I, I'm sorry to push you on this. That's quite extraordinary. You're an official spokesman for the Israeli government and you have no idea how many civilians you've killed. I thought you just told me that you were particularly careful about not killing civilians. But if you don't know how many you've killed, how can you say that with any certainty? Because even if you were to go by a ratio of the Hamas figures, we would still be far ahead of any That wasn't Western my Army. question. You know it wasn't my question. I, I, don't, I don't have the information. Well, you literally have no idea how many civilians you've killed. It's not that I don't know. I'm not authorised to give the information. I don't have the information. That's to complete give you. nonsense. Why are you authorised to give me the number of terrorists you've killed, but not a number of civilians? I don't understand. Can you explain? Piers, we will go after Hamas. We will ensure that we. Um, you want me to believe to... you're being incredibly <laughs> careful about how many civilians you're killing, and you have an amazing exemplary record but you don't know how many civilians you're killing. So how do I know you've been careful? Piers, when the dust settles, we will come out with the proper numbers. Hamas runs to the press daily but you, with hey, false... When the dust settles, a lot of people will have died, and you know how many Hamas you've killed, but you don't know how many civilians you've killed. And I'm just asking you why. Why is it you've kept a record of one, but not the other? I, I personally don't have that information to give to you. You can ask me... Over and over, I'm not going to come up with more information. I don't. You, you don't know. I don't have the information for you. Today. Well, you're an official government spokesman for the Israeli government, and you have no idea. Piers, I, I, I came on here to focus on what's going on with the. Well, war, actually, you came on here to answer my questions. Uh, I think. Yeah, and and I, I don't have an answer for you for that. And so. I didn't intend to press you on this point because I assumed that you would not respond the way you have. But I've never had yeah. an Israeli spokesman who simply said, "I, I have no idea." Particularly after you boasted about the fact that you've been very smart in the way you've avoided killing civilians. How do you know if you've got no idea how many you've killed? You come on here as the official Israeli government spokesman and, and you, you don't want to be asked how many you've killed because you don't know. And yet you want us to draw comparisons to other conflicts in a positive no. way for Israel. And you want to tell me that IDF make a, a, a record of every single thing they're involved in, but they don't give it to you, the government spokesman. So that when I ask you, you have no idea. Do you understand how ridiculous that sounds? With respect. With all due respect, I've told you that even if you were to use the Hamas figures, the ratio would still be better than any other army, and that's where the comparison can be done. However, we know above and beyond that that the Hamas figures are not accurate, and we know from former uh, conflicts that Hamas throws in uh, anyone that's, you know, someone could have passed away from a heart attack, someone could have... Uh, so why is you know, it that Israel with, actually, with, after with, previous... That's after, what they've done in the past. Well, why is it after previous death tolls have been released by Hamas through the Palestinian Health Authority, uh, they've actually turned out to be ones that Israel has concurred with in the main? Do you, can you not count either? Piers, we're in the fog of war. We're fighting for our very existence. No, you're not foggy when it comes to killing terrorists. You're only foggy, it seems to me, when it comes to killing civilians. 